Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very special video. I'm using Memory Lane products and I'm also using a Stuck Sketches sketch that Laura Whitaker came up with. So I am super excited to use this sketch and I'm also super excited to use this collection from Memory Lane. So I am using the grid paper, the 12 by 12 grid grid paper, excuse me, and this cut apart sheet that has cut apart strips. And um, I'm cutting apart some of the strips and I'm going to use those because in this sketch it had strips of paper. So I thought that this paper was perfect for that. That's why I wanted to go ahead and use this um, collection as well as the sketch in this same um, video. So you're getting a two for one. <laughs> Um, brand new products and also a brand new sketch. So I'm super excited about that. So I cut all of these apart and they're all 12 by 12. So I'm going to trim them down. So not all of them are the exact same length. Um, some of them are thinner than others. Some of them are thicker. And um, in the sketch, I know that she had different like um, borders. So some of them had scalloped edges and I decided just to leave them straight the way they are and I'm also going to pull out some of these six by six papers I'm going to pull out these two I like the contrasting colors that they brought um, and they were um, not the same as the other strips that I previously cut apart so those are the papers that I am going to go with I think in the end I'm actually going to pull out or cut apart a couple more pieces um, and the photo that I have is a picture of my daughter Emily and I when we did face masks one night and we have our face masks on and she wanted to take a photo or a picture. So I was like, why not? So I am going to go back to that cut apart and I'm going to use these cameras as one of the strips. And then I'm also going to use this, um, one with different words on it. It says think positive, different is good. And it said something else on it, but, oh, it said glitter, I think. I cut that part off, or no, I don't cut it off. I cover it up in the end. So those are the strips that I'm going to use, and I'm just layering them, and I'm kind of, I don't want them all going, I don't want them all the same. So this layout took me a little while um, to complete. I did struggle with it a little bit um, just because... I end up cutting some more of the strips and because I don't want them all to be the same length and some of them kind of were um, ending up to be the same length and they all kind of looked the same. So I am going to cut those down a little bit more. I'm also going to use some of my craft foam to put on the back of this photo so it pops up off of the page because it has so many different patterns behind it. Um, I didn't want to back it on another pattern paper and it also has a lot going on behind it. So I really didn't want to put it on cardstock because I didn't want to cover up too much of the pretty pattern paper and the embellishing that I'm going to do. So in the end, I just put it on, um, craft foam to pop it up and it doesn't show in the picture, but when I do that, when I pop it up on craft foam or foam tape it leaves a shadow behind the photo so it doesn't look flat on the foot on the page and it helps it give it some dimension so I am going to take um, one of my gelatos I have pulled out two but I'm into I end up only using one of them and I'm gonna do this mushing technique I sprayed some water um, on it and I'm just gonna put it because in the sketch it did look like she kind of had some mixed media going on um, on the page so I decided to do that and bring it in and it's really very light in the end you see it but it's not like this big whoa in your face kind of mixed media it's just a little tad bit and that's why I decided not to do the aqua color as well I just kind of wanted to leave it really light and airy looking and in the end once it's completely dry um, it's just real like it just flows I think so I am gonna hit that with my heat gun and I will leave my links or my supplies below. I will leave them 
to Memory Lane Scrapbook Etsy store. Definitely head over and check her shop out. She's getting new products in and she's got the Glitter Girl collection. She's got the new Paige Evans collection. Um, she's getting the Crate Paper um, Christmas collection and um, her shop is just getting a lot of new things. So definitely head over and check her shop out. She um, also has given me a coupon code for you guys to use. So it's Heather10. I will leave that linked below as well. So you guys can get a 10% off your purchase, which is amazing. So I am going ahead and gluing all of my strips down or adhering them and with my ATG gun. And I am... I think after I glue everything down, then I'm going to trim some of the edges a little bit more because I feel like some of them are way too close to being the exact same um, size. So I am going to trim them just a little in certain places. So I like the way that that looks. Also, the pink polka dot at the very bottom, I'm going to end up taking that off because it was a little bit too small and I went for a, di a completely different look. I wanted to put my title on that piece and it just was way too small. So I'm going to cut another strip and use the same exact pattern, um, but it's going to be much bigger. And I'm also going to cut it into like a banner, like a flag um, banner here fishtail banner. Is that what it's called? Yes, I believe that's what it's called. So that is much better. It's so thick, but it's going to be perfect for my title. So my title, I saw fabulous on the thickers, which these thickers are fabulous. They're beautiful. Um, and so I wanted to use fabulous. So then I ha also have the thickers, the wood grain with gold thickers from this collection, which are super cute. And so I just spelled out B with those. And then I'm going to use the fabulous from the like aqua thickers. So freaking pretty. I love the way that these thickers look. The font is like beautiful, nice scripty font. And it's also glittery and they're foam, which is my favorite. And so these are amazing. So if you have not gotten these, if you've not picked these up, definitely head over and pick those up because they're super pretty. So I'm really, really liking the way it's looking so far. I'm going to take out the little stickers um, from the little folder booklet thingy-majig, and I'm going to also pull out some of the ephemera and the buttons as well. So I'm going to use this tag from the ephemera pack, and in the sketch it had a tag and it also had florals. So there is like a little floral sheet here from the sticker book, which is super pretty. Some of them have gold foiling on them, which is gorgeous. And I'm going to use a couple of the stickers and I'm also going to use a couple of the little buttons. Um, now for me, I love the buttons, but I do not love that they're on pop dots. That does not make sense to me. They're already super dimensional. So I, in the end, am going to take the pop dots off and just use like a liquid glue. I'm going to use my um, glossy accents to glue those down. And I am taking some pink twine to um, put in the little hole of the tag. Now, I was going to try to tie a bow because in the sketch it had a bow on the tag, but I just didn't really like the way that it was looking. So I'm just going to let it hang there. Um, and so I'm really, really loving the way that this layout is coming together. It just, it just flowed. It flowed so nicely. <laughs> So I am using a little bit of glue behind these stickers just because I don't know if it was just because it was on all of the layers, but they weren't sticking that well. The stickers were not sticking that well. So um, they stuck, but they kind of came up on the edge, which I think, honestly, I think it's because of all the different like layers of paper. And I had the layers of paper kind of stacked on top of each other. So they weren't laying flat. So I just put a little bit of glossy accents behind those stickers just in the center to keep them down. And I use glossy accents on the buttons because I took the pop dots off. So you can make things work for you if you don't like things that are super dimensional or something. You can take pieces off to make them work for you. I definitely do that. <laughs> 
So I'm going to take my zip dry adhesive and use that to glue down the photo with the craft foam behind it. And then I'm layering up a little sticker right there behind the photo. And what else? I'm going to use some tiny word stickers from this collection, which are super, super cute. So I'm going to tell you the ones that I'm going to end up using. It says cooler than unicorns, today rocks, and shine bright. So I'm going to use three of those, and they're just going to be layered right there underneath the title. And now I am going to use this little fun camera which is like interactive um, when you move it it says snap and I just thought that that was super cute so I wanted to use that it's so much fun I am going to pop that up on foam tape just because the photo is popped up and so I definitely want it to sit nice um, so there that is super super cute so when you move it it says snap <laughs> you can't see it right now I'm sorry so now I'm putting the rest of the tiny word stickers that I'm going to use down here. And I'm just looking through the stickers and I really, really like these little stars. They look like they're hand drawn and they're pink, but they have like an iridescent sheen on them, which is super, super pretty. Um, and I was going to use some of the clouds, but I felt like they kind of just blended in with the white background. So I'm going to save those for another layout. I am going to use this sticker that says free spirit. You can see that beautiful, like iridescent. Oh my God. It's so pretty. I love this collection so much. You guys have no idea. The sticker booklet is amazing. There are so many stickers in this thing. Like so, so many. So now I'm going to take a couple of the pieces that I had, the scraps that I had left over from the um, layers and I'm going to cut them into fishtail banners and I'm going to make a little banner here at the very top left hand side just because I felt like that wasn't in the sketch but I felt like it kind of needed something up there so to balance it out because I always do for some reason I'm always drawn to like a diagonal effect so I have a lot of heavy embellishing down at the bottom right hand side which is the title and then the stickers and so for me to balance it out, I kind of needed something at the very left hand top. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to create a couple little banners here and layer them on top of each other. And then I'm going to use a couple stickers and layer on top of the banners. So I hope that you guys are enjoying this layout. If you did, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss any upcoming videos. And if you haven't already, definitely head over to Memory Lane Scrapbook on Etsy and check her shop out. As I said before, she is getting new stuff in as we speak. She is getting shipments in. She is also ordering some new things. And so definitely keep your eyes open and check out her shop. And don't forget my coupon code. It is Heather10, so you guys can save 10% off of your purchase. So if you guys like this video, again, give me a thumbs up. And everybody that is in the way of Irma, please be careful. If you are going to be hit by the hurricane, stay safe, friends. I know that North Carolina is going to be hit in some sort of way. It's not going to be as devastating, I don't think, as Florida, um, just because it's going to be a much smaller storm by the time it hits me. But definitely be careful, be safe. And if you need to get out of wherever you are, go ahead and do that. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys stay safe. Um, I will be posting a video on Saturday as well for Stash Bash school stash bash. <laughs> Sorry, you guys, I'm a little out there right now. So definitely watch out for that on Saturday. And I hope that you guys did enjoy this layout. Don't forget to head over and check out memory lane. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Have an amazing day. Bye.